<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, live from Studio A at Argentum Studios in North Hollywood, California, give it up for Talk Talk with Philly G. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Rock and roll. Konnichiwa. Today we have a very special Talk Talk with Philly G. I'm so excited. But, oh, look at I'm still going. That Phil there and Phil here. Yes, we had two <laughs> Phils right there. We had stereo, Phil and stereo. Just so there. let me just say I'm very excited today um, to have our brother Rome Kanda. That's right. Rome Kanda is in the studio Thank with us Thank you for today. coming, Rome. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Philly G, and I'm here today with... Luca. Co-host Luca. Benton? Just Luca. Like, <laughs> like, like Prince and Madonna yes. and Beyonce. I am a... I'm going to go with one name too, but just G. Call me G. <laughs> <Okay>, G. <laughs> if you don't mind. Talk, talk with G. There you go. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. Luca? Yeah. I, I'm super happy. Yeah. I'm super happy because there is a genre of life... A that genre is of life. A genre of life that is Japanese culture. Ah. And I married into it. Mm. You know what I mean? And my wife is uh, Japanese, and she's from Osaka. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, she lives right near Universal Studios. And uh, so we go out there, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, but I've really gotten to know Japanese culture. I go all the time. My kids go to school out there. Maybe too much information about me. <laughs> but I say this because I've really embraced the shows i've embraced the language as much as possible and my kids read and write and you know, it's got, a whole great thing i, got I love a, it i got a question because this is a chicken or an egg scenario yes did you get into the japanese culture because of your wife or did you get into your wife because of the japanese culture wow wow which came first <laughs> which was first <laughs> right well i'll tell you what it was um you know we grew up in los angeles and we enjoy Japanese culture, but on like the American basis, right? We enjoy Japanese food, and that's our introduction to Japanese culture. We love sushi, but it's not like real like Japanese cuisine. It's American. It's it's not even American. It's California cuisine. Yeah, California is, roll. That should like let you know everything you need to know right yeah. there, right? It's California roll. This is probably not a Japanese invention. Right. I would say not, although we could ask Roman in a little bit and he will clarify. But, um, you know, if, if you go to a real Japanese restaurant in Izakaya or you go to a ramen house or you go to a yakitori or, you, you know, anything, if you go get takoyaki mm -hmm. or ono, okonomiyaki, mm -hmm. I mean, it's so delicious. And a lot of my friends always ask me like, hey, Phil, please tell me where are the really good. They want to know where's the authentic Japanese restaurant in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Well, in our very first show, in fact, we, um, we talked about a oh, Japonica restaurant. Yes, in Redondo restaurant. beach in, yes. in Redondo serving is which is like a Japanese tapas. <laughs> you remember, <laughs> <I> remember <yeah. laughs> you remember well, Daniel. -san. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but yes, Japonica restaurant. That's where I met my wife, in fact, and it was great. Um, and, Look, there's a lot of sake involved in um, this and beer. Are you a cold sake or hot sake? Oh, uh, it's cold. See, the Americans are all hot sake, but that's Is not that how true? it's supposed to be, right? Is it's supposed true? to be cold. Drink the cold sake, unless it's like winter night. Then you might go hot sake, huh. of course. I will ask Rome. When, when we will. Rome he has, in, we're going to ask him. You have a lot of questions. About the culture, yeah. And the really nice thing is... Um, the Japanese culture is, I mean, it, it, it's very long, right? It has a lot of um, history and the buildings. Like if you go to England, right? It's got a lot of history in the, in the architecture. But Japan, of course, is even more than that, right? It's like they have the feudal history. That's right. Which yeah. is so entertaining. Mm -hmm. And I love watching the feudal dramas. Absolutely. And uh, I was Shogun telling you. Shogun Assassin, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's, we could go back and talk about like the 1960s mm -hmm. eras, uh, you know, uh, samurai dramas. Yeah. And, you know, those directors were legendary. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll right? jump in with Akira Kurosawa now. Yeah. I, I, I mean, because uh, uh, of Star Wars. He's dropping some yeah, names. Yeah, because of Star Wars, I watched Hidden Fortress because they said George Lucas was mixing things with samurai films. So of I course. watched The Hidden Fortress. It's an amazing film. It yeah. starts off and you're like, oh, yeah, this is, this is Star Wars. Like, well... I, they also have a great one called the Seven. The Seven Samurai. Samurai. Yeah. 
Yes. Fantastic. And we have the best samurai here today. Um, we will learn from Rome. He is an expert samurai swordsman mm -hmm. and teacher, right? So that's, I'm, I'm super excited. Um, there was a there was a, a show that I watched. We'll talk about it later. It's called uh, Jiri Haji. Yeah. Well, right? you know, I just before we change topics, I want to do an impression for you real quick because oh, yeah. we're talking about Kurosawa. Are you gonna, and, are you, are you about to offend? Every, you know, Rome no, 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 is sitting no, no, right is, there. This dude. is this very tasteful. You know, the whole world is watching us. Be careful. Yeah, Ed, my, get uh, ready to hit the dump button. <laughs> this is my impression of uh, Toshiro Mifuni, the uh, okay. the, the, the main gonna... actor from many Kurosawa films. Ready? Yes. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. Uh, well, like we'll have to. <laughs> we'll have to. Yeah, nice, Ed. He said it looked like Robert De Niro as well. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, we will ask the authority in a little bit. Um, but I, I really enjoy watching the feudal dramas. It's a genre that I don't think gets enough American attention because what happens is you'll see a lot of Korean and a lot of Chinese um, dramas about the emperor and the old days, but for the Japanese um, dramas, they don't have the English subtitles. So I, I would recommend to all of you out there who are holding these films, please, or even Netflix, uh, who seems to be putting out a lot of films, get the Japanese ones, give them some subtitles, and let us watch them, right? I mean, how hard is that? No, we have to spread these, uh, these vital pieces of art. They need to be shared. We have Absolutely. a platform, yeah. and we are making an ask. Exactly, yes. Or an ass. And speak, no, you're making an ass, <laughs> but I'm making an ask. <laughs> yes. And today I'd like to ask all of our audience members to, uh, to keep in, if they love art, if they love photography. And they we'd do because like they watch this show. Yeah, absolutely. We'd like to inform them of a special event going on uh, this February 8th, yes. uh, 2020, this Saturday, February 8th, there from 3 is. to 5 p.m. at the Jose Joides Bayada Art Gallery is a uh, beautiful... What am I looking at? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you're done, give me the card. Okay. Um, there's a collection of, uh, of beautiful international photographers, uh, a collection featuring A&I's own uh, Coder Cherry. Yes. Uh, this collection is curated by Sofia Gutierrez, uh -huh. uh, featuring works by Tish Lampert, Amy mm -hmm. Putman, and our own Coder Cherry, as I, as I mentioned. It's called Exposing Migration, the Spirit of the American Dream. The opening reception is Saturday, February 8th, 2020, at uh, Jose... Mount St. Mary. Jose Droides Beata Art Gallery at Mount St. Mary's University. Yes. Uh, feel free to call for information 310-954-3460 to get your tickets to Exposing Migration, the Spirit of the American Dream at Mount St. Mary's University. All right. So keep the camera over here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit more. About, could you put the card back up? I have a postcard here, but um, they're going to switch seats right now. Rome San, please sit over here. Kura Sai. And um, let me just say, you're looking at the card, and Tish Lampert is a huge friend of the family and show, the A&I family, and she um, has a podcast, you can look her up, and she has a book, uh, you know, there's, America Speaks, man, look it up, find her art, find her photography, Cooter Cherry is our master printer here, he is a, a professional um, photographer, he's a professional printer, He's a great guy. And Amy Putman uh, is also a great photographer. So I would recommend setting your calendars, right, for February 8th, Mount St. Mary's. Be sure to be there. Exposing migration It's a very timely topic as well. And I would never use migration as a segue to introduce Rome Kanda. Here he is, everybody, Rome. Kanda. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to number one entertainment show. Everybody, hi! Majide! Majide! What is up? It's so good to have you here. Yeah, thank you for having I me. I am. You, yes. you, you, you talked too much oh. before <laughs> I came. <laughs> I did. I, I was killing time here. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Yeah. Please kid a lot. Yeah. We love kidding here. Thank you. And everybody, the Argentum family, yes. the A&I family, uh, Herman Press family. In fact, the whole world is so happy to see you today. Yes. Me I too. have been. A I've told you this before. Mm -hmm. I am your, one of your biggest fans. Thank I've you. I've been watching you for so. Well, you're not that old, but I've been watching you for a long time. And I really love your work. Thank you so much. In fact, much. I've, I've even watched Rome recently. If you go to Netflix, you're on a show now. Yeah. Uh, it's airing. Ed, over here. Thank you. If oh. you go to Netflix and you search up the show called Maniac, 
you will see Rome as Dr. Morimoto. No, Muramoto. Mor Muramoto, sorry. <laughs> and actually, it's Toshiro Mifune. Oh, he's <laughs> correcting us already. Uh, look, well, look Mura, at that. Dr. Muramoto. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, thank you. Thanks so for wait, editing. There's a, lot of, <laughs> there's a lot going on. Ah. Is that the only collage we have? It is? Okay, but uh, so there's a lot going on there mm -hmm. in this picture, right? Mm -hmm. You have the very attractive headshot. <laughs> yes, thank you. Look how good looking you are. Oh, same, same outfit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Wait. <laughs> Keep it going. Uh, wait, go back. Go back. So we have uh, down in the bottom corner... Uh, that's I survived a Japanese game show. Yes. Majide. Yes. And then uh, that, the, that was on ABC and airing over 150 countries now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Go back again, Ed, please. At the bottom center, Dr. Muramoto. Yes. That was mm. so fun. We'll talk about that in a second. Mm. Um, and then what's above that? I, it's hard for me to see. Uh, Jonah Hill. Or is that John? That's the cast of yeah Jonah Hill and Indiana? Emma Stone. Oh, so great! Yeah, so and great. in front of me is Sally Field. Mm. They are not on camera yet. Yeah. Yes. So I was with them. I was Amazing with four cast. of them. Amazing, <laughs> right? Yes. Um, so I watched the show. Thank you. And it's funny. It's it's kind of a dark theme. Right. But it's comedic also. Right. Right. And you tell uh, Jonah Hill, don't f this up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Um, how excited were you to do that film? Oh, I was so excited to see all stars. Also, the director is famous, Kari Fukunaga. Mm. He just have finished shooting 007, first Asian director of 007. So I was lucky with them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, that is just an incredible... Uh, example of how the cultural mix in Hollywood is, right. is getting the pot is getting stirred. Yes, right. It's a melting pot in Hollywood. Actually, we shot in New York. <laughs> <laughs> well, but uh, Hollywood. When we say Hollywood, we talk about Hollywood being like the film industry, mm -hmm. right? Um, so yeah, even when films uh, are shot in South Carolina, mm -hmm. sometimes they're shot in Canada right. or all over the place. We, we still refer to it as Hollywood. Oh, we? so I've been to Atlanta to shoot another. TV show, so it's called Hollywood the film. Still, so they talk about. I mean, okay, Hollywood <laughs> is a big overall umbrella I of I entertainment industry. I am learning every yeah, day. Yeah, Thank please. you. Yeah, yeah. I'm Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood. Yes, Hollywood. Okay. You have a SAG card. If, yes, of course. Yeah. Really? Yes. Then you are yeah. a member of Hollywood. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Welcome. So we shoot in New York or Vancouver, Toronto. We call it Hollywood the film. Hollywood. Well, you're still within I'm the sorry, industry. I'm sorry, I'm pushing you it's too it. much. <laughs> I, I want to know. Ramsan. Hi. You can ask me any question. Okay. I am happy to answer. Okay. So, yes, Hollywood is a, is a general term, right, that refers to the entertainment industry. And so sometimes you can film everywhere, but you have like a premiere, mm. right? Even though you shoot in New York or in South Carolina, Atlanta, right, you might premiere your film, hopefully, mm -hmm. in Hollywood, right? right, at the Chinese theater. Or nowadays, a lot of premieres are in London. Are you aware of this? Yes. Yeah. So that's a London film, not Hollywood. <laughs> well, you could parse hairs. But <laughs> okay. I would say, worldwide, everybody wants to be part of the Hollywood scene, part of the dream. Mm -hmm. The dream isn't London. You know, it it's is for other song. things. Right, right. That's but right. the dream is really a Hollywood dream. Mm -hmm. The streets are paved with gold. A nice word. Yeah. Sensei, arigato. Yes. Well, so Romsan, Hi. where are you from originally? Osaka, Japan. Yes, of like course. Like your you wife. Are. Yes. Yeah. Osaka, so a lot of people might not know Japan, right? Mm -hmm. and, and the one thing that I'm really pleased about with this show is I'm bringing everybody, everybody diversity, mm -hmm. cultural mix, mm -hmm. and understanding and sensitivity. Mm -hmm. And so. Um, you are from Osaka, Japan, which is not in the north. It's kind of like in the west. West. Mm -hmm. And it's really a cultural center, mm -hmm. right? That's where a lot of shipping was. I mean, in the, if we go back in time, right? It was like a import-export center. Isn't mm -hmm. that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not the historical teacher, yes. but I can tell you a little bit. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Osaka is the second biggest city. Mm. And many people moved to Tokyo because it's the first biggest city, also a capital. Right. But Osaka people got jealous mm. of that. Okay. So people living in Osaka yeah. think we are the second, we are the biggest, but the Tokyo people don't care about that. <laughs> so it's like we are fighting each other. That's well, a true story. Yes. <laughs> and in my experience, <laughs> if I may say, 
I think the most friendly people are from Osaka. They, they are real. They are funny, happy, real. Most of the comedians, famous ones, yes. are from Osaka. Yes. So I'm real. Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs>、um, I would also say,、um, kind of,、uh, when I go, sometimes the fashion center is in Tokyo、mm-hmm. and sometimes it's Osaka. It kind of moves back and forth. But when I went down to、um, Kagoshima、mm. and you talked to the people there,、uh-huh. I was in Sakurajima before the volcano ruined it.、Um, they say that they have the most beautiful girls in Japan in Kagoshima. How do you say it? <laughs> I agree. Oh, yeah. There you go. Because I <laughs> went to、go. Kagoshima many times because、yes. one of my friends owned the agency、mm. and the production company.、Okay. So I went there, studied as a model,、oh. the fashion model in Kagoshima.、Wow. Then I got older, I started to teach、mm. acting them. They are all beautiful, Kagoshima. But、oh. you're not going to take our women anymore. Who's you? Please. You! Me! You already me. have one. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell you you could have her back, but I might get in trouble. <laughs> right? right? But, but beautiful people and nice heart. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not only that, but in Kagoshima, this is like a tourist show,、um, they have great sake? Or no, is it called、uh, shochu. 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 Yeah, it's not sake. Gomen is like, sorry, that was, I was like, come on, come on. Yeah. Shochu, potato, sweet potato, potato shochu, yes, potato, not sweet potato, just that's potato. potato. I, mm, it depends.、Mm. Yeah, made by potato, made by rice, made、mm. by other stuff.、Yeah. Yes,、uh, but Kagoshima is famous for the shochu、yes. made by potato. Right.、Yeah. And th- when you drink shochu, you like ice, and do you put the、uh, ume in there, the the sour plum? It all depends. How do you like it? On the rock. Just、I always like on the rock. Yes. Yeah. Now, if, I, if、oh、we yeah, have dinner. Oh, guy on the rock, I please. Understand.、Yeah. I understand. <laughs> Who's going to put the water or hot water? I, well, apparently, Paul.、That? I mean, Luca. Oh, so Paul, <laughs> because Paul is ticking. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. <laughs> so,、uh, can we just talk about this for a second? So, Paul asked. He says,、uh, Americans don't do it right. We do what we think. And there's like an American style of enjoying Japanese culture. That's okay. That's、right? okay. Yeah. But so when we have sake, we get hot sake,、mm-hmm. but it's not winter time. <laughs> so、um, it's fine. Do what you like.、Yeah. But how do you do it? On the rock. No, sake, sake. No, I don't put ice. No. Ice cube. No ice cube. But you don't、Just、drink it hot.、Now. It comes、no. chilled. I don't like hot sake. Right, I don't like、right. hot shochu. I like cold oven. Co- you know what? Because I'm always hot. <laughs> That's why I like、wow. a cold oven. I'm not hitting on you. Sorry. I, I'm not hitting on you. Don't worry、wow. about that. Wow. Wow.、Um, so, you like to go to onsen? Yes. I do too. Oh. And Americans get very shy when we go to the onsen. Because you have to be all naked. We have to be all naked. And I'll、yeah. tell you what, when I go to the onsen and I'm all naked and I walk in, everybody looks at me. Actually, everybody, everybody looking at, into you, <laughs> <laughs> not your face.、Yeah. Eyes Lower body. Ed. No, lower body. Eyes up. Yeah. Eyes up. Please, I'm just like everyone else.、Yeah. Um, but I love going to onsen. So, in,、um, uh, you know, in Osaka, right? My wife lives over by Universal、mm-hmm. Studios Japan. Nice. And we have、uh, beautiful onsen right nearby. We could walk there in like five minutes. Near Universal、yes. Studio? Really? In、mm. Osaka? Yes.、Oh, really? I didn't know.、Yeah. I'm from Osaka. I didn't know. Yes.、Um, yeah. Will you be in Osaka this summer? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure.、Uh, my、Please. schedule is. Let's、tight. try to get、know. our schedules together. Let's <laughs> sync our schedules so、mm-hmm. we can meet in Osaka, right? Yeah, Universal Studio Onsen. Yes. Yeah, I'm going I'm, I'm to check yours. Please. At Onsen. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did I embarrass it? Is he turning red yet? He hasn't even consumed any alcohol. <laughs> that's no that's, alcohol yeah, no. today. Yeah.、Yes. Daytime. No. Right?、Mm. Um, so, after we're going to have a break in a second, and we're going to meet Cheryl of Jackson Entertainment. Is, right? Is Cheryl Jackson?、Yes. It's the boss. Yes. Quiet. No, she, no, she's sweet. She's sweet. She is the best manager s in this planet. Yeah? Yeah. She、me. helped you to get Maniac? She, every, every, she helped me to get、M、many things. Well,、yeah. I better look her up. In fact, I'm going to because she's going to come and sit down. Watch this. Wait, hold on. Before you sit down, stay right there, Rome, son. Watch. Ed's going to put up a card on the screen. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, nice. So you're going to switch seats with Cheryl for one second. We're going to meet her. 
Thank you for coming today, Shara. Look at, oh. Look, she is a mogul. She is a mogul. You could hear she has her phone right with her. And her, welcome, welcome. Hey, yeah. You. Why me? <laughs> Why me? They see an A. Hey, there we are. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? Great. Right. Thank you for coming. Thanks. I'm not used to being on this side of the I camera. I know. I'm well, usually behind are you the nervous? Scenes. Yeah, it's not really my thing, but. But we're just talking. Yeah. The name of the show is Talk. Oh. Talk Talk with Philly G. I'm not going to use the M. Um, I, I, I'm going to say, like, it, it's a pleasure to meet Roman person. And now I, you know, I think of him as my amigo, if I can say that. Thank you. Tomorrow, Chief Tom. Uh, you have such a great um, broad base of talent at your agency. We do. Thank you very much. How'd you do that? I mean, why, how'd you, why do you have an agency at all? Well, um, it's a talent management company. Management. Um, I do have an agency license okay. for if I do have a talent who, who doesn't have an agent. Yes. But our goal is usually to place everyone with a great agent and work together as a team. Mm. Um, but for me, I came from a background in social work. I have a master's degree from the University of Georgia in social work yes. and a bachelor's in psychology. Yes. And I just am very interested in people. Mm. And I look for very kind people and it doesn't matter to me, like race, gender, mm. you know, ethnicity, um, age, mm. anything, as long as they're nice to work with and they're on top of their game with getting their stuff done that they need to do. That's and then wonderful. That if they help me, I help them. And So what I'm hearing from you is that the, right, your agency? Management company. Yeah. Ma I'm going to say it right. The management company is very inclusive. The big umbrella, right? Right. And you, you draw upon the flavors that everyone brings. And if you're a nice person, they could be a part of your management company. For the most part. I mean, we are pretty established at the moment, so we're not actively seeking too many talent to add. Right. We're working. Your busy cup is working. full. Is that yeah. what you're saying? We're Yeah, we're busy it helping everyone get it to the next level. It runneth over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing great. But there are a few holes. She's not shy. We do need, um, oh, like, let's hear it. Asian youth, like young kids. Youths. Youths. So. Rome is not exactly a youth, but he looks youthful. He is very youthful. Well, you have Rick, <laughs> right? Rick? We have Rick Kumazawa. Kumazawa. He's going to be on the show soon. Next week or Are you going to come weeks? back again? Yes, I will. Hey, look at that. Score. There I am. Score. <laughs> She's coming back again, everybody. Uh, so Rick will be here. and um, then. But do you have a lot of other, you have, I, I would assume, a, a, a broad net of talent. Do you have any talent that has no talent? No, good. Everyone has because a lot what is of talent. that? That yeah. of course that would be ridiculous, right? Um, yeah, but we're a talent management company, so we manage talent. So of course, do you have a favorite um, kind of talent? Do you have like theatrical, or do you have a favorite type of talent that you look for, or really good talent? <laughs> and you know it when you see it. Yeah. Wow, you have a good eye for that because you're a social worker and you you know people. Pretty much. Right. You can yeah. just like look at. Can you look at? What do you see when you see Paul? He's a cool guy. Hey. Yeah, he's nice. He's definitely nice. Awesome. You know, we have a we have a pretty cool crew. Um, but really our goal here is to showcase talent and to learn from their experiences. And when Rome comes back on, because I'm going to very politely kick you off, but we're gonna learn about his grind. We like to hear about how are you living your best life? You know what I mean? And I think as a as a manager of talent, you have to get them your your talent to understand how to really work hard and to mm -hmm. improve your craft constantly. Isn't that right? Pretty much, yeah, every day. Yeah. Well, would you, would you like to say anything to the people out there before you go? Have a good one. <laughs> She's very humble. <laughs> All right, everybody, Cheryl from Jackson Entertainment. Okay. Now let's bring Romson back. There's so many, only, okay, bring, just go right back to Rome because there's a lot to talk about. We have so much to talk about. Yes. So you have shows. We have lots of yeah. shows. I mean, thank you. I could Cheryl. have you. I could have you on for two hours, and and we could okay. have. Not today. I'll come back. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. Good aside. Yeah. But first of all, I would like to say thank you mm -hmm. to Cheryl yes. Jackson for the, doing this. Arigato. Yeah. She's wow, sweet. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. She's. I could tell. She was a little bit nervous at, at first, but then she warmed up, and yeah. you could really see yeah. why she attracts uh, very good talent. All clients respect her. We respect each mm. other, so it's yeah. a really good way. That's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's more Japanese than, than I am. 
<laughs> I'm too American. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. She's Japanese. Honto. Yeah. yeah. In a good way. Yes. In a good way. Yes. All right. Let's talk about some of the things that you've been yes. doing. Well, first of all, um, so you're on the show Maniac, mm-hmm. right? Like three or four episodes? Uh, yeah, four episodes. Yeah, great. Mm-hmm. Um, now you have your other shows. Of course, one of the shows that you're most known for is? That you're most known for? Majide? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I survived a Japanese game show. Um, amazing. Thank you. Right? It's such a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. It's amazing because as a host, you really brought out the fun in people in mm-hmm. the same way that I... No one wants to see me. Mm-hmm. I want to introduce you to everybody so they could really get to know you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah they, and you do the same thing as a host. Yeah. That, uh, it's a big, it was a big hit here. Like, they love Japanese game show. But American people thought they want to bring American contestant to Japan <laughs> and doing the old crazy stuff. Yes. That's how they started. Yes. So the hard thing is they're looking for a host who can speak English mm. and Japanese because yes. the audience is Japanese. Yeah. All crew is, are Japanese. Mm. So the reality crew are J- Americans. Yeah. Contestants and Americans. Yeah. See, I was picked up. But I was in a crazy spot. <laughs> I have to speak both English yes. and Japanese in Japanese and English simultaneously. Yeah. It was tough. But you know what I like? Mm-hmm. What, I, what I really respect about it, yeah. if I could say this from um, a creative talent level, Rome took the opportunity and he made a signature move. Could you let's go back to Rome? Do the signature move that oh, you did from the show. Come on, let's see it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to number one entertainment show. Everybody, hi, Majde. <laughs> yeah. And, but, I mean, that's amazing. That's a signature for you that you will have forever, right? right. And, and it's your creation? Yes, I made it. That's amazing. Me and my friend made this. I have yes. a writer. Don't give, wrong, just take wrong. credit for yourself. Come on. I made it my myself. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then you did the unbeatable Banzuki. Yes. Or Banzuki. You, or you studied about me. Thank you. Of course. I, <laughs> if I didn't, I would not respect you. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes. Um, so that was another physical yeah. comedy game show. Well, I mean, comedy in the sense it's funny, but like Ninja Warrior, that's the original Ninja Warrior, right? Right, right. They just uh, used the uh, original footage from Japan. Mm. And I became the host for that original footage. Yes. And it's all spoken in Japanese and subtitled in English. Yes. Yeah. So American people start to watch English subtitle. Yes. No, it's good. Yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a lot of fun and at, on t- you know, at home on TV. Mm-hmm. We watch the Japanese channels. Mm-hmm. And we have a lot of fun finding so many uh, variety of shows. Were you ever on a variety game show, on like a variety show with all the other comedians? Yes, in Japan. Yes. Which show? Um, it's a famous one. It's Let's hear Tetsuko it. no Hea, Gyoretsu, uh, Fukai Hanashi, e- e- all kinds of show I was there. Yeah, It's a big hit. We say Golden Time. It's a prime time TV show. Mm. And I have hosted in prime time TV show in Japan as well. Yes. Yeah. It's funny. I love seeing all the comedians. I wish I knew exactly what they were saying. I love the shows where they eat, they, they have like the food and then they eat and they give their reaction to the right. food they ate. That's right. Oh, I want to do that someday. Can we do that here? Some can we try? I can be a host. So everybody. But you, you have to pay me twice. <laughs> Cheryl's sitting right over there. You got to talk yeah. to her. She, she heard. Yeah. <laughs> um, wait, come, come over here. So I am asking uh, Romsan to do a podcast here mm. when you have time. I'm okay. inviting you oh. to do your own net show here at our Gentum Studios in Studio A. This is our commercial. Do not stop for your commercial because I'm doing it right now. I am inviting Rome mm-hmm. with um, some other Japanese actors. If you, you can create whatever show you like because okay. I know you have such a good spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, but we know Takato-san. We mm-hmm. know Rick-san. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe you could get Yoshiki-san. Maybe you could get Sanada-san. If you can. Or Ken Watanabe-san. Oh, Watanabe-san. He lives in L.A., right? I, I'm not sure. Uh, he, he lives in Japan. All the people I mentioned live in L.A. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Do you ever see Yoshiki no. around? Only I met uh, Sanada-san. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A really good guy. Mm-hmm. So friendly. Mm-hmm. Right? He's so nice. Super nice. But he's not as funny as you. He is not wrong. <laughs> no. The person who got big success have to be not funny. Be nice person. Right. So he was right. 
Yeah. Emma Stone is a nice person. Matt yes. Damon is a really nice person. Uh-huh. So it doesn't have to be funny. I'm funny. Yes. But it doesn't have to be nice. Yeah, yes. funny, yeah. So I want you to please consider yeah. to come and do a show in okay. Japanese or how, whatever you like. Mm-hmm. And you can use our set. We will create a background for you. Mm-hmm. Can we put all the links like YouTube or other stuff or everything like that? Well, af- afterwards, Absolutely. you mean After, okay. right now? Or no, 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 right now. The after, the, after, we, after we make it. This Romsan is your world. Mm-hmm. I'm here just to please you. Oh, so you. however you want, you can uh, ask for anything, mm-hmm. and you may get a lot, or you may not. I, we'll do whatever we can to help you out, of course. Oh, that's nice. Can I use those? Cr- um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> when when I go to the locations, yes. can I use these people? Luca and Ed make it happen. In fact, you remember Ed when we were live at yeah. the uh, at the premiere. Remember? Yeah. He was the he cameraman. Was a, oh, right, right. With Mark. That's yeah. <laughs> that's right. With See, Mark. I remembered. Yes, yeah. uh, that was so great. So. I keep getting a signal from Paul. Tell me what's up. Let's hear it. Let's go. It's uh, it's time to wrap. Are we wrapping up already? No, we have to wrap Rome. What's that? We have to wrap Rome. Wow. Oh, Rome, I love you, man. I don't want you to go. I want this. Please, please come back. Um, so like I said, I can't even say enough words. And I wish this interview could go on. I really mean it. I wish our, our interview could go on forever because you. you're such a great talent. And there's so much to talk about. And maybe one time we could do an interview from like a, a Izakaya or something and we could eat and drink. That's fine. And yeah. uh, then we could really get to the funny yeah, stuff. That's fine. Right? But all beep sound we have to make. I, I, I don't know if we have a beeper or okay. not, but okay. who, you're right. It's okay. We'll tell everybody. It's a if I drink, I swear a lot. It, so you, have be, <laughs> you have to be careful. As long as you swear in Japanese, who knows, right? I never swear in Japanese. There's no swear words in Japanese. Uh. <laughs> Only bad words in English. I see, I see. Wakarimasu. <laughs> yes. No. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you. So Thank please, you. say say no. <laughs> Offer me. <laughs> uh, talk to the people here. This hey. is it. Please. Thank you for watching. I'll come back here. Maybe he's not here, but I'll come back. <laughs> there you go. Yay! Thank you, <laughs> Romsan. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'll tell you what. If I am ever sick and I cannot do this show, he might be my first choice to be your host. Talk, talk with Rome. Sounds good, right? Yes. Thank you, Romsan. Thank you so much. So, all right, we're going to come back. Um, are you just going to take You have time to hang out or? Yeah, I'll hang out with Jill. Yes, okay. So, Paul. Yes. <clears throat> how are we doing? That good. was, I'm. I, dude, He's got I, such good energy. I feel better. I know, like, right? I, 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 was, I was a little run down when the show started and then he started talking and I just feel so, I feel number one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ichiban. So. Yeah, look, let me just say this. The level of talent that we have on the show is amazing. Mm-hmm. It's endless. We, at Argentum Studios, we have so many people that we could bring and share their talent with you, share their experiences with you. So you could see that no matter what it is that you think you're going to do, it's possible. Oh, right? and there's, yeah, there's Talk about like, that somewhat. I mean, oh, yeah. It, it's a, it, as a person who tries to uh, create things and perform, it's, you're surrounded by people who tell you that you can't do this. I want to be an actor. It's impossible, you know. So to hear, to, it's really encouraging to hear the success stories of people who have made it. And the most encouraging part is that everybody sucked at it when they started. Yeah. Everybody. The one thing that I would say is Rome found, he made himself a trademark move. Yeah. Dude, who could do that? Right? He's bridging cultures. That's, that's an, it's an amazing thing for an entertainer. To no, have. but when you think of Rome, like you think of Majide, if you know about it. I mean, like that's his thing. And like, I, I don't have a thing. He has a thing. We're on your thing. This is your thing. <laughs> right? This is our thing. This is not, I mean, it says Philly G. It but says this Philly is, G. This is our community. This is our family. And I do this, this. Yeah. If this was my thing, I'd be in the gi. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is my Oh, the kimono. kimono. Excuse me. Yeah. Thank you. What do you think about it? I, I want to touch it, but not in front of all the people. Right? <laughs> yeah. It does look comfortable, though. I, you know what? It's surprisingly nice. I, I might wear it again sometime. Who knows? I just kind of want to, like, I'm switching gear, but it's about the kimono. Would this Is have that... been weird if I wore this, like, when Kaya was here? <laughs> <laughs> Only if it was open. <laughs> right? Uh, it's funny, because you look at, like, old, uh, the ancient fashions. Yeah. The nails look so comfortable. Compared yeah. to what we wear now. Like oh, that did, looks Did you see those wooden shoes they used to wear, bro? <laughs> oh, we didn't even talk about Rome being the expert sword. There's so much to talk oh, about. Rome, right. come s- back. Rome is a samurai swordsman. Dude, Man. 
We didn't even get to talk about it. that time went so quickly, dude. Yeah. I swear that like was like a second. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's the energy, you know, when things are going Damn well. It. Yeah. Damn. I'm sorry I'm here and it's dragging again. <laughs> You're not at all, but that's just amazing. I can kind of hold a sword, Phil. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Um, if I could just, you know, with all the um, un uncertainty in life, mm -hmm. it, it's great to know that you have great um, family, that you have great coworkers, that you have good, good people surrounding you. Mm -hmm. Hang out with the people you want your future to look like and not what your past looked like. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah, my mom used to say, show me who you walk with and I show you who you are. Right. Yeah. That was when I was in a biker gang and none of us walked. <laughs> but still. Show me who you ride with. Show me who you ride with. <laughs> right? Where's your leathers, man? I want to see yeah. your flag. Uh, you know which yeah. one I also like is um, your vibe attracts your tribe. You ever hear that Ooh. one? Yeah. If you operate on a certain frequency and you're yes. positive, you'll attract those kind of people to you. You know? They'll, want, they'll look at you and think, oh, I should work with this person. Oh, I, I got to say, I love what Rome said about that. You don't have to be a funny person. Oh no! What did he say? You don't have to be a nice. You don't have to be funny, but you have to be nice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you yeah. could, yeah, you could not be funny, and nice. but you'll if you're nice, you'll make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why he's like, I'll never make it because I'm just funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rome son, he's the. If I had to make a, a little comparison, not exact, I would say he's very Chevy Chase like. You know, Chevy Chase was very physical. If you ever see Rome, like he'll like if you watch he's, the he's carpet, an he'll guy, fall yeah. over. Like he's very physical. Yeah. In his comedy, uh, he's very animated. Mm -hmm. uh, he's so knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, uh, you know, it's just I'm effusive with praise because I have so much respect. Well, he seems like a cultured, entertaining guy. You know. Oh no but, doubt. Uh, yeah. No doubt. And you can tell like he's a great host. If you have a show that needs a host, mm -hmm. like, I mean, why wouldn't you have Rome? Yeah. Right? It'd be good to ask him what his what were his first hosting gigs like, you know? I can't believe like the time went that quick because there's so much I yeah. want to talk about. Yeah, we, we definitely we're gonna have Rome on again. He was a very very interesting guy. Yeah, yeah. with a lot to. I mean, I, I don't know how many decades he has in the industry, but he's got American and Japanese experience. You know, I was. He's got I, stories. I, yeah. Well, and we met Cheryl from Jackson Entertainment. Mm -hmm. She's nice. She was a little uh, nervous at first, but she kind of came around at the end. Well, it's not easy to talk. <laughs> On an internet radio talk show, I, it can be a little daunting, but she had great show. information. Yeah. Um, so I kept calling it an agency. It's not. It's a management company. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. So she's managing people. Mm -hmm. Like Snoop Dogg manages people. Does he? Yeah, of course. I would love if Snoop was my manager. Oh, man. Whoa. Hey, motherfucker, I got a fucking audition. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> that's my whoa, Snoop impression. Dude. You can't do that? <laughs> you can, that's going to be funny when you beep it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we're recording this. <laughs> um, yes, Paul didn't get that memo. S sorry, uh, sponsors. No, look, it's a free, it's a show, and we're having good conversation here. But managing talent, mm -hmm. right? It's hard to find talent. I mean, what? And she says her cup's full. Yeah, she even want I to talked find to her talent. a little bit about, about management, and she, she mentioned that she had one of me already. So, oh. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> One of me. She's already got the, the tall, I wonder, aggressive, long hair I guy. wonder if she has the short, bald Jew. <laughs> Cheryl. That's a gem. That's a right? Gem. right? Right? I mean, how many of us are there? Right. What can Jew do for you? Richard Dreyfus? Do I fit the... You Richard? and Richard Dreyfus. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? No? <laughs> oh, man. Give me a shark right. and a boat. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger one. Get him a plate of mashed potatoes. <laughs> Let him sculpt something. <laughs> oh, man. So we were, I don't know. What's, how's our time looking? Let's, let's wrap it up. Oh, are we wrapping I'm it sure up? I'm sure we got one more sponsor Wait, and then I can do credits here. The, do we? Yeah. Nah, who do you got? Oh, that's right. You did. You did the. We just blew right through it, man. <laughs> we blew right through it. <laughs> um, let's do some credits. All right. We'd just like to remind our viewers, first of all, that uh, you can listen to Talk Talk on YouTube at Argenta Media. That's the name of the channel. Yes. Uh, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications so you can get all our Argentum content. We've got amazing stuff coming up. There's, a, there's an Actors and Shots where two people... What's two? Second episode. Second episode of Actors and Shots coming up where you get actors drinking and asking each other questions and calling each other out on their BS. Hey, it's going to be the third by the time this shows, by the way. We've got... Uh, well, yeah, we've got exciting stuff coming up on that Argenta Media channel. So make Argenta sure you check Media that out. has a lot of programming on there. Yeah, all our viewers can check those out. 
And uh, we'd also like to remind everyone uh, that Talk Talk with Philly G is recorded live at Argentum Studios in North Hollywood, California, produced by Ed Sunga, Mark LaBella, Kevin Ariaga, Becky Maddie. Background Cityscape provided by photographer Ted Soki mm. and A&I Fine Art Photography, a part of Harmon Press, Teamsters 572, also home of Argentum Studios in beautiful North Hollywood, California. All right. Put the camera on me, Ed. And... Um what we're going to do right now is I'm going to say my thank yous. You're going to go get your guitar so you can play us out with some music. Oh, yeah, sure. See, Philly G is always thinking, this is why I sit in the captain's chair and other people don't. And that's why my name is over there. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's an honor to have Rom Kanda on our show today. I, I mean, you could tell I get so excited. I have so many. We, I don't have guests. We have guests because they come and they... Um, They'll come to Argentum, they'll come to A&I, and &I, and we have professional services, but it's not even about that. It's like there's just so much talent, and this show is to bring everyone in front of you so we can showcase their talents, and we can exhibit and pass on their experiences so that you can learn from them. And right now, we have Paul Luca on guitar. It's the end of the show. There's just no more show. I want to thank everybody for checking in with us. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell thing. The bell. Um, thank you for tuning in and look for us next time on Talk Talk with Philly G and Luca. Thank you very much, guys. See you next time. That worked out great. <laughs>